welcome back to another video yes as you can see i'm in a different setting i'm in my bedroom today's video i just read by the title it is going to be my thoughts on matt donovan and tyler lockwood from the vampire diaries and why i think they are the most irrelevant characters in the show i know that there are some fans that love matt donovan and love tyler lockwood but i'm sorry this video will really really explain why i don't care about them and i think they are so fucking irrelevant oh my god i'm gonna be analyzing and when i analyze i am really really truthful so please i don't want anybody to take offense to this because i'm not doing this to be mean or to be harsh no i'm just speaking the truth from a person who has seen the show since they were a teenager and now as an adult they have different ideologies and also seeing the characters now as an adult you're kind of just like jesus is love if you are new to this channel hello my name is joyce i do makeup looks reactions reviews on tv shows movies plot lines characters and song covers and if you stay on this channel you will not regret one single second but that is enough said and without further ado let's right, go i'm going to start first with matt donovan and then i'm going to finish with tyler lockwood so starting with matt donovan matt donovan is one of the minor main characters of the vampire diaries he is elena's best friend and ex-boyfriend in the show his parents are peter maxwell and kelly donovan and he has an older sister named vicky matt remains the only human in this supernatural show in season one he gets threatened by stefan's presence especially because of elena as we saw in the first season um stefan when he came back to mystic falls he fell in love with elena and matt is um elena's ex-boyfriend and obviously seeing his ex-girlfriend moving on and liking someone else is not easy of course he feels threatened so i understood that after season one, Matt's storylines don't really matter to the main story. He dates Caroline and other irrelevant characters. Just don't really remember or care, honestly, because that's kind of how irrelevant Matt is to the story, but I'll get to that. He remains the only human being in the show who protects his friends and helps to fight the villains as well so this is my summary on matt's character in the show now i'm going to talk about why i don't really like matt donovan and you know my thoughts on him and i'm not sorry for anything i say he is really really boring as well like, he's not like jeremy boring because jeremy he's and a necessary character even in the books elena was an only child and they added jeremy and he still remains the most unnecessary character like, you would kick him off and he would have absolutely no importance in the story and he was irrelevant since season one but the difference with mac donovan is that yes he is a boring character but his story in season one was pretty crucial especially with vicky because she was the first who saw who was able to tell that vampires are back in mystic falls and obviously he is vicky's sister and when she gets turned and when she dies like of course it's gonna affect him and also because of like there's elena his ex-girlfriend seeing stefan like he has more of a reason to be in season one than jeremy honest his his storylines does make sense especially when he ends up dating caroline after he is crucial in season one afterwards i'm sorry but matt donovan is so irrelevant i don't think it was necessary to have him in the rest of the season he's really really boring i cannot be the only one feeling this way there is a reason why people <laughs> say that they don't care about matt donovan that he's boring that like there's a reason i was going to name this video everybody hates matt i just feel like because i am talking about tyler lockwood as well later on in this video i just basically said that he's also irrelevant like tyler lockwood another thing that i don't really like about matt donovan is his hypocrisy we do see in the seasons that well at first like he's kind of against vampires and and like werewolves and he tries to kind of stay away from that and he judges everybody else to not be involved in, with vampires or whatever 
but yet then afterwards he ends up like crushing on Rebecca or hooking up with Rebecca and he has a little flings with vampires too I believe I think I don't think he was only Rebecca so that kind of makes him a hypocrite like you're gonna tell your friends oh you shouldn't be involved with the vampires and we should stay away from that blah 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 but then yet you also get involved with vampires and you end up helping them and it just comes off as hypocritical. I'm sorry. To me, it doesn't come off as, oh, that's amazing character development. No, it's not. It's just him being a big ass hypocrite. That's another reason why I don't like Matt at all. Another reason, another reason why I don't really like Matt, it's not really a reason. It's more like something I didn't really like that they showed in the show. I don't know if you guys remember, but like, I think it was in season five. Oh my god, season five was such a snooze. It was but anyways, um in season five, I remember there was this like scene where he had a threesome with him, Rebecca, I believe, and Nadia. That scene made it seem like because he's the only human being in the show, that he kind of deserves to have like a threesome with two girls. And that's kind of like his reward to say like how much you know he deserves it. And that to me that's what it felt like, and I just didn't like that i didn't i thought it was very weird when they did that honestly that's another reason why i don't really like matt i'm not saying that having three sons like if you want to do that that's your business but it's again like they made it seem like he it was a reward for him so yeah that's something that i really really wanted to mention and talk about this is those are basically my thoughts on why i don't like matt donovan now i'm gonna talk about the actor so the actor zach rory honestly to me he kind of reminds me of stephen r mcqueen the person who plays jeremy gilbert Zach rorick's performances uh, as matt donovan <laughs> does not stand out at all to me as well you will expect to see some some great things you know he gets to have some closure with his dead sister he gets to interact with jeremy fans get to see that like it's a little bit of bromance you know and uh <laughs> I'm sorry, but the reason that he barely has anything to say about Matt Donovan is because he is so boring. There's not much to say about him. If you barely have anything to say about your character, that shows how boring and useless Matt is. <laughs> he doesn't have one single performance where he stands out there's a reason like i've explained in jeremy gilbert's character analysis i said that there's a reason why i got so attached to bonnie and to damon and stefan because these actors that play these characters are really good and they have performances that stand out now i'm not going to say that it's completely his fault because maybe it's because he really doesn't have that much importance in the show and he doesn't have that much storylines after season one that makes him stand out maybe that i could also say it's the writing but the actor himself is not does not stand out to me i'm not saying that he isn't good in this role i'm just saying that he doesn't have charisma or any performance that stand out stands out to me like it's also pretty stale other thing that I'm gonna say about the actor is I don't care about him at all. I don't like Zach Orwick. I don't care what he's doing right now. And even if he watches this video, I really hope he sees that part. I'm pretty much sure that if people have seen the video of him at Comic-Con with Kat Graham and he completely disrespected her. To let go of that love. So Matt's out figuring out his own life finally for the first time, so. More power to Matt. Mm. So obviously this is super disrespectful because he did the black power sign and he said more power to Matt. So fuck you, Zach. And he had the audacity to stare at Kat after. And of course she's upset because like, what the fuck, dude? Why would you do that in front of her? And I was aware of that when I saw a video of Kat Graham and the racism she endured in filming and being in the Vampire Diary. I'm pretty much sure a lot of people have seen it too. It has a lot of views. But anyway, um, that video, it showed where the actor, Zach Rowick, completely disrespected Kat Graham in front of her face. Just seeing that, it just made me so mad because 
I don't even know if he apologized to her, but I do know that she doesn't even follow him on Instagram or any platform. So I know he probably just never apologized. So for that, I have no respect for it. I'm sorry. Anybody who's going to, who is going to disrespect somebody else's background or culture or race, I do not condone bullying. I don't condone people putting down other people. Like, I'm sorry, what makes you think that you're better when you did that like what was the point of doing that hell even if when you see the clip his other co-star the one who plays enzo grilled them so bad stop figuring out his own life finally for the first time so more power to matt so there you go i'm sorry anybody who is who likes the actor is not on my team so this is what i wanted to say about the actor and this is what i have to say about matt donovan and I hope this clears up and explains that he is, to me, the most irrelevant character in the show. Now, let's move on to Tyler Lockwood. Tyler Lockwood, he is also one of the minor main characters in the show. He is one of Elena's friends, more of an acquaintance because Nina Dobrev, the actress who plays Elena, and Michael Trevino, the actor who plays Tyler Lockwood, barely have scenes together. It's really, really hard for me to call them friends when they don't even share a lot of scenes together. So no, that's why I called them an acquaintance. And again, I'm not sorry. His parents are Richard Lockwood, he was the mayor in season one, and Carol Lockwood. He doesn't really have much of a story in season one. I mean, he gets into a car accident alongside Matt and Caroline at the end of season one. In season two, his uncle comes back and tells him about the werewolf curse and his family. He tells him that if he ends up killing someone, then he's going to become a werewolf forever, I believe. And then he ends up killing someone and he becomes a werewolf. He also ends up becoming a hybrid thanks to Klaus. His werewolf storyline is completely pointless, especially in later seasons. He dates Vicky Donovan and Caroline Forbes. And I think he dates a few other girls who aren't really important as well. I don't remember. Uh, this is my review on Tyler Lockwood's background character in the show. Now I'm going to talk about my thoughts on Tyler Lockwood. And I have three words to summarize my thoughts. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck. I do not care about Tyler Lockwood. I don't care about his storylines at all. I will say that him and Caroline dating that was really cute in the beginning. I was rooting for them until after like season four, I just started getting annoyed and they started becoming boring. They were one of my favorite couples. I have made a, a video on my favorite ships, like the worst to the best, in my opinion. I placed them in five in the fifth place on the list of the best couples because i did say they were cute together but they're not the best couple in my opinion those are my thoughts on tyler lockwood like i said three words i don't care now i'm gonna talk about the actor honestly to me i think that michael trevino is actually fine in this character in this role i don't have anything against it and i think one of his best performance was when he was transforming into a werewolf <laughs> oh my goodness this is the kind of performances that i mean that they stand out to me and i'm not saying that i got attached to his character because he is pretty irrelevant but i will say that at least he has some performances where he does stand out i forgot to mention as well that he does um tyler lockwood does end up being killed off because of Damon. Damon ends up killing him. And there's a reason why they killed Tyler Lockwood off. And this is where, this is my next point. The fact that Michael Trevino, the actor who plays Tyler Lockwood, decided to quit the show, to me, it's pretty obvious why he did. I don't have to have somebody else telling me or I don't have to guess. Obviously, he quit because his storyline, his character storylines were really, really boring. Michael and I talked about this all the time. Like Tyler was difficult after a while 
to find new story for. And so there'd be these long pockets where, you know, after the werewolf journey and then after the class, this was like the culmination of the Klaus conflict really was the end of season four. So we're like, oh God, now what? you know, and, and, and when the character- I'm sorry, but this is exactly why I do not like Julie Pleck. It's not our problem. Like, you know what you're doing. You knew who you were hiring. You're the fucking creator. So it's not our fault. It's yours obviously why he quit and it was even confirmed afterwards and i was like all right i told you so i was right i was right that's the reason why he quit and i can't blame him tyler lockwood is very irrelevant and also very boring obviously between tyler matt and jeremy i think that jeremy is the most boring one that's true that doesn't mean that tyler lockwood was also a fascinating character if you guys disagree with my opinion that is okay that's fine but to me i never i never liked tyler not because i think that he's a bad character but it's just because his character has bad writing you know and it just kind of sucks it really does suck i i feel bad because michael trevino is a really really good actor oh my goodness i have nothing against him it's not like zach rowick or um stephen r mcqueen which these actors are absolutely terrible another thing that i forgot to mention in for matt donovan well for zach rowick is apparently allegedly i heard i don't know if it's true but allegedly the reason why uh zach rowick he kept staying in the show is because he slept with julie pleck <laughs> Yeah, um, the creator, one of the creators of the show. Yeah, and the racist bitch. Yeah, he slept with her. If it is true, that does explain why he is still in the show, you know? Because, I mean, Matt has no reason really to keep staying in the show, especially because, again, he is just as irrelevant as Tyler. So yeah, I don't know if it's really true. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. That is more proof why I don't like the actor. <laughs> if it actually happened, that shows how unprofessional he is at his job. So come on, I, there's no way I can be, I'm the only one feeling this way. This concludes my reviews on Matt Donovan and Tyler Lockwood from The Vampire Diaries and why I think they are the most irrelevant characters in the show. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content if you are interested. Let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree, if you like Matt Donovan, if you don't like Matt Donovan, if you like Tyler Lockwood, if you don't like him either, let me know in the comments. By the way, me talking about the actors, I don't know them personally in real life, okay? I'm not trying to talk about their personality. I'm just talking about their work on the show. There is a huge difference. So if I see people attacking me just because they think that I'm being mean to these actors when I'm just talking about their performances, except for Zach Roig, I don't give a flying fuck if you are going to bash me or whatever because nothing I've said about him is untrue. So yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.